How do we want to level her up? So we lost the ranger, which had some great uh, things. What else do we want? She's intimidating. She's diplomacy. Um, we'll let us be diplomacy. What did we lose? I think we might have lost streetwise. For the passives. Um, that actually doesn't make sense for a paladin. Diplomacy makes sense for a paladin. What's the huge problem with Ultra Despair Girls, Kara? Arcana? No. Yeah, you're our survival bro. Explosives. Nobody really is focusing on explosives. Nobody has sleight of hand or stealth. And we're probably not going to worry about those. So... Hmm. Gosh, the only ones that actually have athletics are these two people. How about... Explosives. Accuracy and damage and effectiveness of bombs, noisemakers, and... Oh, no. Tell you what, just get more mechanics. Sure. It wouldn't show the game when you tried to stream it for your friend? That is really rude of the game. To not let you stream it. Uh, affected by large he she has corners of the bonus penalty applied. Deep faith. The intensity of the paladins is face deep is granting them increased bonuses to faith and conviction. I think that's pretty nice. When suffering damage, gain a stacking bonus to damage dealt on your next weapon attack. That's kind of cool. Uh, another weapon set. More fleet and... Oh, we already have stride. Oh, you get a heal! Oh, we already have these two? Oh, that's cool. Okay, we'll just get that one. Shasta! Happy Sunday, madame. How you doing? We'll be switching over to Overwatch in a, a few hours. We started early, so we'll get some more stuff in. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to do some more mechanics. And I... What did I say? Diplomacy? Yeah. Oh, Kara, if you didn't uh, meet Shasta, uh, we met in Overwatch. She's so good, she does her husband's placements. Grants three paladin auras. Each exclusive to reach to each other. Well, yes, that sounds cool. Uh, weapon and shield. No, we're not going to do that. Inspiring triumph. Inspires all allies in the vicinity when the paladin downs an enemy, granting temporary bonus to all defenses. That's kind of cool. Gosh, I should have had a paladin. Uh, divine purpose. 20 all defense against those things. Wait. You just get that? That's... There's no, like... When something happens, you just get 20 defenses to those? Wow. That is... That is rude! Yeah, she could be like an off-tank with two hands, because right now it doesn't matter if she has a shield or not. There was even one for here. Hold the weapon and shield. Six more to fight. No. I like this so far. We're going to make her like a two-handed battle tank. That's what it sounds like. Diplomacy at what we're doing? Mechanics. Um, and it's really easy, because so far we just get to pick these. So let's just do two-handed style. 15% more damage with two-handers. What did I give her again? I think I gave her a mace. It was like a morning star. And that one is direct strikes toward the body, dealing less damage but lowering the target's fortitude. Oh, that's cool. That'd be very useful, so we can focus with uh, spells. Oh, thank you for some of the chocolates, Kara. I love I love any, like, main brand chocolates, so appreciate it. Besides, I don't... Like, if you're like me, we'll devour all the candy that's in front of us, and we know we shouldn't eat it all. 
Okay, new level, new tier of spells. Oh, so this is like one or the other. So we had to pick this one. Okay, cool. So what is Z Flames of Devotion? A full attack calls upon the Paladins inner fire, causing their equipped weapons to burst into flame as they strike, adding burn damage to the attack. That's kind of cool. So that can go into... Uh, additional 10% dealt for as a dot. It's so like AoE. The Paladins attacks temporarily receive bonus. Oh, so it's a, it's not just for a single attack. It would happen for the single attack, and then for 15 seconds after that, she would keep attacking for it. That's good. Uh, call uh, nearby allies receive a smaller version. How how close? I like that. That's pretty good. Now lay on hands is a heal. Uh, the hot actually. That's pretty good. And gains robust. Oh, heck yeah. Or gains courageous. I'm going to say that one. But what is this that we're skipping over right now? An AoE foe blind. Bathe yourself in holy light, blinding enemies in the immediate area. It's three seconds to cast, but that's... That's really good. We don't have a reliable blind that can... That doesn't have to be targeted. Hmm. I like Robust, though, so we're gonna get that. And she's got a lot of levels, so we'll, we'll figure out what else we need to get her. I kind of like where... Because of the levels we're giving her... Like... There's not as many skills to look at per level. And so we can really dip into these passives. Let's go, let's go ahead and get the blind, and then we'll start looking at more passives next level. Which happens to be right now. Oh yeah, we're gonna be so diplomatic. We are so diplomatic right now. Oh, we just got next tier spells. Dang it. Uh, what do we have? Another revive? Paladins can command an unconscious ally to get back up with large instant spike in health while also granting the strong inspiration. However, the ally will lose half of the regained health after a short duration. So, like, they come up, it's a really quick cast, and it's, like, instant. It's instant, and there's no recovery time. That's amazing. For 15 seconds, they have strong, but after the 15 seconds, they get minus 100 health. That's actually fine. What else do we have? Target... A hostile effects are suspended for 20 seconds. Is it just one person? Commands an ally to summon all their strength in order to temporarily ignore existing hostile effects. And also grant steadfast. Which is 5 resolve. So the, the target is a friend? I'm not understanding that one, so I'm not going to get it. But here's all the auras we have. Um, I can't, we'll just get the revive. That's kind of cool. Well, let's worry about the auras in a second. I want to look at here. Will defense, fortify, reflex. Paladins melee strikes, remove charmed, confused, and dominated afflictions. So we can hit somebody upside the head if they got MC. That's pretty good. But we're also hit him really hard. That would suck. Uh, penetration with fire. Mental is paladin resistant to an intellect effect. I think she already has that. Didn't I just get that? No. So I'd be a resistant to confused, charmed, or dominated. That's really good. Increases the paladin's maximum zeal. I don't know how that works enough. Resistant to being distracted, disoriented, and blinded. That's really good. Uh, and also resistant to sickened, weakened, and enfeebled. These are all great. Mm, first, I think not being charmed, dominated, or confused is better. So we're going to get that. Again, she has several more levels, I'm pretty darn sure. Yeah. More mechanics, more diplomacy. Um, one here. Dude, yeah. We're going to make her kind of half tanky. I like it. 
Distracted, disoriented, blinded, or sickened, weakened, and feebled. Sickened is 5 constitution lost, all healing reduced. Weakened is 5 con away and all healing by half. And enfeebled is minus 5 con, cannot be healed. That would suck. Distracted. Uh, actually, I like that one. I like her being able to hit, so we're going to go ahead and get that one. Okay, let's just read the let's read the auras. I didn't want to have to do it, but we're gonna see if we have need to improve one. So she gets she has stances kind of like a, the other one, so she can either grant accuracy, grant movement, or grant armor rating. I say we get accuracy, which also converts some hits into crits. I like 5 accuracy. How much of defense are they thinking? 1 armor rating? Oh, wow, and a small heal? Well, dang. That's actually hard. These are all actually great. Dang. Um, I'm gonna, actually I'm still going to go for with accuracy. I think the improved accuracy is good. And we have another one of these. Um, so we're going to make her two-handed. We have a pole axe, but it's not amazing. So here's what I'm thinking, because again, since we're having her melee, she can switch damage types without worrying about too much. So this will be, that's slashing, that's bludgeoning, this is piercing. So have a pike. What happens when a man of royal blood sleeps too much? He becomes a nap king. Actually, I like it. Nice. And how very relevant to me. Two more. Um, abjuration. Through force of will, the paladin can destroy any spirit or summoned creature below the paladin's level. The spirit, spirits and summoned creatures equal to or greater than the paladin's level take raw damage. So it would take raw damage because we have scale, scaling, um, scaling ability. And it takes four zeal? Jeez. I don't know how you get zeal, but it seems pretty hard. And that's a lot of damage, though. Not to, not to be wrong. It's not as strong as it could be. Allied gets 20 deflection and fit. Nah. This is her blinding thing, so increase. Allies get 15 deflection with it. That's pretty cool. Um, damage taken by afflicted enemies is greatly increased. Oh, wow. If they're blinded, they take 40% more damage. That's amazing. We're getting that. Tough, uncanny luck, righteous soul. Immune to disease and poison. That'd be pretty good. And more healing? Nah. I think there was a defensive one I wanted to get. Yeah. We'll get the clear-headedness. We should be getting close to her being done. She's level 10 now. Hmm. It's funny how I see she gets penetration with fire attacks. What? Where are her fire attacks? This? These are fire attacks? Oh, these are... Okay, so her damaging abilities are fire. Are they all fire? No, that's water and frost. Water and frost. Is this fire? No. So it's like just, just these guys. Eh. We could increase... Right now it's plus 8 all defenses. This could be plus 10. So two more. Could do that. While we're a sink... No, we're not gonna... We're gonna make her two-handers. Uh, big fat two-hander. What is uncanny luck? 5% resistance and 5% of hits converted to crits. So increase chance to crit. That could be good. 
one max. It was what was the one? Uh, when scoring a hit with an attack and immunity to intellect affliction attacks. Oh, when they hit the target. Huh. You know what? I feel like that might be good. I also feel like I just want to keep building up her defenses. This is actually really tough. Immune to poison is pretty good, and disease. Because I'm not really digging it. Uh, this one, it's great. I'd rather you use the 4 zeal for something else, though. 39 to 62. Or full attack, which maybe does half of that. So that one I'm not 100% on. I do like that it's raw damage, though. That could, be a, that could come into being a play later. Uh, reinforcing is just deflection for 12 seconds and five more con using two zeal again really I like that it, she has no recovery time after casting it hmm she's really being a hybrid isn't she three health per second it's like every second total you get one health I don't think that's worth it. We have like 200 health right now. Mm. We're going to keep her on accuracy. And let's get a defense. Iron Gut. Sure. We're going to be here all day. And that was the last one. Excellent. Is she in the proper alignment? Where is she? Oh no, she's not. I think we want her like that. Uh, no. Just open it up. Where? What's the formation right here? Uh, you up here. Shody. Maybe more middle. Are we're gonna be in the back? We'll come up in melee later. I'm here. Especially if there's Kith. But until such time, we're going to be uh, ranged with a fine hunting. I thought we had a better bow. Did I sell it? Must have sold it. Superb weapon bow. I'd say this is better. Yeah. We got eight more accuracy, two more pen. Uh, there was a zombie walk last weekend in Montreal. Oh, that's cool. A thriller performance from zombie people. That sounds epic. Did you take pictures? Like, I don't think you didn't say you were there, but that sounds amazing. Like a lot of fun, too. <laughs> We have a video? Very... I'll share it on Discord. That kind of thing is cool. Little flash mobs. I think that's awesome. Let's upgrade her weapon. It's already exceptional. Let's go ahead and make it... Oh, we can't make it superb. Dang it. But I'm glad it started for exceptional. So right now, poison dipped is 3 crow damage per 12 seconds for 60 seconds on hit. That's very low. Death sentence would make it... 5% um, chance to kill near death on target tick. That's so amazing low, it doesn't even matter. You'll send it to my Facebook? Cool. Thanks. Uh, 5% should paralyze on a tick. Neither of those are worth upgrading. Huh. That's kind of disappointing. Okay, well. It's already good. We'll, we'll keep it such. How about the kitchen stove? It's already exceptional. Uh, wild shot. Thunders would get rid... Oh, you have hurried and wild shot. Hurried is minus reload time. Wild shot. You know what? We'll, I think we're good. We're going to start really saving and maybe get some more upgrades for our boat. I want some more upgrades for the boat. I don't have any rings, do I? Uh, no. I do not. 
Okay. Um. Did I not come loot this place yet? Nice and quiet. Um, is there a merchant? I could have sworn we came by this side. I guess we didn't. No nut net. Let it be, Swabby. Right away. Do you have any candied nuts? She wanted candied nuts. Medium armor. Glance blood prints. Imbued with the blood, with blood, the male constricts and ripples seemingly under its own power. Grants a bonus to all defenses when the bearer is bloodied. Five all. That's that's pretty good actually. I almost want to get that. Um, oh, we're gonna buy the grappling hooks. And a pickaxe. I feel like we sold to this person for. We're looking for candied nuts because she said she wanted some. And I, f I feel like this game wouldn't just say that. Plus eight reflex. That's pretty good. Oh wait, we can get that. She didn't have a, she didn't have boots yet. Um, go to the stash. Uh, anything else? Anything I want to sell? I think we did a selling already, so that's fine. Thank you, Kara. Uh, let's equip her some boots. Dude. Oh. Pretty sure I meant it to go to the stash, but okay. Cool. Now she has, has more defenses. She has 60 deflection. You have 73. Okay. 72, 73, 76. Yeah, you have some good defenses. Cool. Um, let's just go ahead and talk to him and get this uh, meeting underway. Are you <coughs> ready to meet our commander? Aldees has been waiting for you. Lead on. Right this way, Captain. It's my pleasure to show our honored guest around. Aye, it sure is. Don't worry, we'll kick your butt if we have to. I don't take kind of double cross. I also don't, don't take kind of low, low times. You must be Captain. Glad you could make it, Lovesome. The battle-hardened captain rubs the underside of her chin as she regards you pleasantly. Her miscolored eyes, one raven-wing black, the other icy blue, rove up and down your face. Like what you see. A golden sweat gleams against the scar scarred skin of her chest. When you notice it, she flips it to reveal the mark of her status on the other side. The mark on this side. It means I'm the second highest rank on the Council of Captains. I'm but one chair below that cockrot Ferrante. I think she likes him. Now, I know I offered you a full parley, but I'm a pirate, which means I'm loyal to my crew. But otherwise, I lie whenever it benefits me. You killed my fourth chair and a damn good friend. A part of me might be impressed, but a part of me wants to flay the skin from your face. Understand? Yeah, well, he shouldn't have killed me. Also, do you know that one of your weapons is dripping green? Do you see that? If you've an explanation, I'd advise you to give it up real quick. Hmm. Despite the violence swirling about her words, she purses her lips eager for your answer. So this is going to be important. You can't find fault for me defending myself? That make, makes sense. Show her the symbol. We had a dispute between pirates. I don't know if that would help. Because I'm pretty sure that's his. You can't fault me for defending myself. Oh, but I can. Being the captain of an entire fleet means you can do whatever the blast you'd like. She lifts her chin, black and blue eyes boring into you. 
but a hard-edged smile quirks on her upper lips. You cut off my right hand. How do you plan to replace it? Man, she really, like, this is the second time it's asked us to take the seat on the Pirate Council. I hear silver makes for a shiny hook. He said you had a smart mouth. But I suppose this will quell my anger. For a time. She weighs the pouch of coins in her hand before tucking it between her breasts. Wow. Yeah. To make room, she removes a hidden knife. It gleams golden in the light before disappearing in, into a concealed sheath up her sleeve. Now that we've got that out of the way, I'll admit. I really like you, Captain. You got guts. And not just smattered in your hair. I'd like to make you a deal. Thing is, I've got this worry pricking at the back of my mind, Dove. Been irritating me for a while. Like a persistent scratch. You should get that checked. I know you've met with Ferrante. That you may even be working for him. That pribbling cock rot. That's like the third or fourth time she's called him that. Uh, with the flick of her fingers, the captain swipes a goblet of God's Killer Rum off her desk. She takes a long swig before pointing at you. But that doesn't mean you can't partner with me instead. Don't do anything to let him catch on. Just keep me appraised of certain future events as they shape up. I. You want me to spy for you? How clever you are. She waggles her brow cheekily over her miscolored eyes. No need to commit to it now. You just think on it the next time you're toiling for a man who'd happily gut you. After you've done his bidding, given half the chance. You, but to be fair, you just said you wanted to kill me. Even though you like me. I think you're both bad. When the time's right, we'll set our strategy. But what can I do, you lovesome? Hmm. I thought you'd like to know that I helped Mad Marina in the Undercroft. So I heard. And so I'm impressed. I like when someone does me and mine a favor. Makes me feel real friendly towards them, you know? And I like to give my friends little tokens of my appreciation. Hey! Like you can Swift Hunter's Garb. So this is... I'd assume light armor? Doesn't actually say. Seven, eight, nine, more armor rating. Minus five recovery time and 10% of incoming crits are converted to hits. That's pretty good. I like the armor we're all wearing right now, though. Expect me to be in touch. If or when I need you. Elsewise, do come to see me should you happen to uncover any particularly juicy tidbits regarding Ferrante's political schemes. Oh, what did you want to meet me about? I've got a problem, Watcher. And I think you're just the captain to solve it. Me and Ferrante don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. Not least of which is the future of the Principi. We got few rules amongst us new bloods. But one of them is that you live free. We steal and we might murder, but if you pledge to us, you're our blood. Our family. So, so there's a difference between the new and the old. Now, if I were to act in direct opposition to Ferrante... He'd use it to call a vote of the Council of Captains. He'd see me swinging by the neck. But no one's got a leash on you. And it's going to stay that way. Which means if you were to, perchance, free the slaves at Crooksburg, Ferrante couldn't do piss all about it. No one deserves to be enslaved by another. Understand? Okay, I already like the newer ones now more. Because we didn't say yes we would help Ferrante because it was a slave trader. I'm asking you to sail to Crooksburg to meet with one of mine. She's hiding within their midst and will have insider information on the slavers. Okay. Uh, how do I find your pirate at Crooksburg? She'll find you, Lovesome. You'll know her by her scar. It's a ghastly sight. How's Ferrante connected with the slavers? I've only suppositions to offer you, Lovesome. But I'd bet my Swollenet Ferrante is attempting Swollenet. to gain standing with someone other than the slavers. Swollenet is how you say it. Aiding the slavers is small fry for a captain like Ferrante. It wouldn't pay well enough to be worth the investment. Nope, he's got ulterior motives, mark my words. 
Well, what can you tell me about the slavers? I know they base their operations in the Deadfire out of Crooksburg. I know they're small but ruthless. And they've run into problems shipping around the islands. I'm glad we came here. Because if I can free some slaves, doing it. Find me when you freed those slaves. I'll make it worth your while, Captain. Uh, tell me about the new blood, because now I'm interested. We're the future, and we ain't going nowhere. We're pirates, Lovesome. We own this sea, and the sea loves us back in her twisted way. Ferrante pines for a homeland he's never seen. But what does old Valia mean to me or my crew? We're not Valian, and we never will be. Though if you're Valian and you want to join our bloodline, you're more than welcome. But weren't you founded by refugees from old Valia? Generations ago. And I grew like a weed in the deer wood, you see? You say consueglo me casitas. I say council of captains. You say principi, I say best pirates in the dead fire. You say swollenet. I say, well, some things stay the same. <laughs> she flicks the gold coin and laughs heartily. Um, so what sort of things do you like to do in your leisure time? What? Like for hobbies. <laughs> her eyebrows dance up to her hairline as she laughs loudly. When I'm not out plundering the seas, I'm right here ruling my fleet. Suppose I like a good bit of target practice. And of course, who doesn't like rum and a hot bath? Don't guess you like the same? Hmm. I love how these are both... There's two of them. So, uh, again, these symbols, these swords, are aggressive. This is diplomatic. This is uh, passionate. That's either good or bad passionate. Rational, shady, and clever. What's really bad and sucks is I've been doing one of all of these and not of the other one. So I've been doing a lot of diplomatic, not a lot of aggressive. Doing a lot of rational, not a lot of passionate. Doing a lot of clever, not a lot of shady. I wonder if they did that on purpose. <laughs> um... If I had to pick one, though, I will say... I could go for a hot bath right now, in fact. She throws back her head and laughs. We're getting more positive with the Prince Peak. <laughs> well, sure. You're welcome to use mine. But perhaps later, when there's less of a crowd around. I think we just got hit on. <laughs> anyway, farewell. Cool beans. So she didn't kill us. That's a plus. Tell me. Um, this one. Cool. Two paladin auras. That's really cool. I need to check her AI actually. I know I want auto attack, but let's let's see what her AI looks like. She starts with cautious, really. So again, for those of anyone confused, uh, since there's five members, we usually keep track of. You can set AI on and they'll follow certain behaviors. There's aggressive and cautious that's already here, or you can make your own. Uh, right now, it's on cautious, and cautious looks like it'll heal first. And never use her date DPS. So what about aggressive? She'll use her DPS. Um, she'll heal her s if her self is not below. Conditions, if the enemy is in melee range, is away from melee range. And if you yourself are below half health, she will do this, which I don't even think we have. Attacking multiple enemies, nice. She will automatically do Glorious Beacon. And always attack. Cautious, I don't think, has any aggressiveness. But it has the heal. Um... Now we're going to copy this one, and we're going to alter it a little bit, because I like most of this. I like that she'll use attacks. Um, she actually can't use these two, so... Right? Yeah, she can't even use this one. So she can use these two. She cannot use this one. So essentially, if 
If there's not an enemy within melee range, she will use this to cast it on them. Perfect. This is an immolation. Seems fine to me. Uh, attack multiple enemies. That's fine. And attack these. But I also want to make a new one. I want to add healing in here. So this is if... Um, is there ally here? Uh, target. Health of target. Is. Let's say. Below 50 health. I want her to use. This should be ally. Is there not one that says ally? Health. Animal can has inspired. Has, has affliction. Distance. Self. Concentration. Classes. Let me check something real quick. Where is her... What does her healing thing say? Target is just... Just target blue. Okay, so it is, it is that one. Target below 50. I want you to heal. Greater lay on hands. Target ally. Uh, prioritize by... Lowest health? Yeah. See, I just want to have a heal in there. In fact, let's move this up. So now if we set this one to her, uh, her main way she thinks. She's attacking, she's attacking. Uh, actually, move it up even more. Now let's actually change this to target. Health of target. Let's just make this even lower. We'll have her be a real off healer, because Shodi's doing a great job healing. So if the target is below 25% health, she will do a heal. And let's actually go ahead and just make that one of the highest priorities she has. If everyone's Gucci, she's going to start just wrecking fools. Just keep wrecking fools. Nice. One of these... Which one did I get? I think I took damaging her, so this one isn't even real. Okay, cool. Accept. Make it a thing. Save. Now we have her AI set to what we want.